It's a real nice gun. It don't play as much as mine does. Follow that road. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. That's a deer standing right there. Just get down. All right, here comes another one for you. About 15 minutes away from my buddy Daniel Ballard's place. Gonna put all my stuff in his vehicle and ride with him. But we are headed to the mountains of Virginia to try to kill a deer on public land. We tried this last year. We're not gonna return to the game land we were on last year. Not because we don't didn't get anything or because we don't like it. It's just a little further away from a place where we can stay and I found some other good property on the National Forest while turkey hunting this year that really wanted to check out for deer hunting. So we're going to be looking at some of that land and on Sunday we can't be out there hunting so we'll probably hunt my, my dad's private piece on Sunday morning and then maybe go look at, look at the other piece uh, Sunday evening just scouting it for Monday. But it should be an adventure. It always is coming up here to Virginia so feeling lucky. The timing's right. Cold front literally passed through this morning. It's about to be cold every day we're up here for four days. And it's barely the middle of November, which is when you stay sitting all day long and you might see a giant. So we're looking forward to what's going to happen. Hope to bring you guys some good content. Getting all ready for first day tomorrow up here in Virginia. Public Land Tour 2021. Pack in the back. Got a nice little fire going back in the Kodiak. Our goal is to learn something tomorrow. Yep. Learn something or get lucky. <laughs> I like the way you put that. Can you turn your light on in here? That ain't enough to see me. That is. That's good. All right, good morning. Bringing y'all the story of what we're doing this morning. We're uh, going out on a piece of the National Forest in Virginia. I discovered in turkey season. Just kind of walked through it when I was hunting turkeys. Nothing was gobbling in this region, so didn't spend much time there. Just kind of looking at it. Took a couple little videos of the place. There was a lot of deer sign on the trail on the way there. So I just kind of made the decision in turkey season that it would be a good idea to come sit it for deer because of the, just the geography of the, the piece of land itself. There's a lot of stuff you can see. So we're going to be using the binoculars. Ballard's trying to get his first deer. First one, come on. We're not going to be really that picky, right? No. He's got to get the we're hoping for cross arrows on it. Yeah. We're hoping for something cool, but, you know, we're not going to. If a basket rack steps out, you know, we may go after him. Because you gotta start small. Work big. What if a big one steps out? We're gonna go after him too. You're just gonna be shaking so much, you ain't gonna be able to shoot. is beautiful ain't it? This place is beautiful ain't it? And we just gotta spot a deer out there somewhere and get after it. Got a tree over here creaking in the wind sounding like an elk. A nice open hardwoods we're in right here. How you feeling after that hike? Woke me up and feeling warm and toasty. About ready for some coffee. Yeah, let's go. Just praying for your Lord. Bless you. 
glasses today. Yes. Yes. I'm so pumped right now. It's finally here. Should we have a quick cup of joe? Of course. Before we start the adventure day. Yes, sir. Most of the stuff we're going to be observing is all out there. And the wind's blowing like this way. The first of the event, event of the trip has happened. <laughs> it's not necessarily a good one. Yeah, bringing it to a hunter. Yep. But, I'm rattling. Yeah, Ballard and I are just standing here scoping, and all of a sudden, heard a deer fight right here. And there for a split second or so, I got hunkered down. I was like, oh crap. And then I could see a little flash of orange from this dude. You can see him right down there. I'm about to get the big camera on him here in a second, but he's just right down there on the edge of the field. So, a real nice fella. Traded contact info with him. Real nice. We'll mess, message back and whatever. It's kind of like this side of the field's gonna be ours and that side's gonna be his from the way we talked. But I told him, I said, if we see something way over there on the other side, that we might make a move on it. And he was really cool. Just said go for it so him and his brother-in-law i believe he said is out here his brother-in-law's over that way when you find a great place like this you know you pretty much can know that somebody else has hunted it before still hunting it Oh yeah, it's better. Do you watch the show Yellowstone? No. <laughs> pretty legit. Yeah. That's pretty legit. I swear that that blind right there is 389 yards from where he's at. <laughs> but I already I asked him. It was right yours, and he it's not. He didn't say. He said a pretty cool one I could show you. I feel like he would have said, "Yeah, go to that one." Whenever I was telling him about it. Yeah. 
have something set up like that first. He said, no problem at all. I would be excited for someone to get their first one. There's actually been a couple of first deer taken out of this blind. So they've been hunting here for a while. Since. Oh, deer, 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 deer. Get your scope on him. He's out in the middle. What is it? Big one? Huh? It is? Alright, well, keep eyes on him. He's going into those woods. He's standing there. Can you see him, Ballard? There, he just moved. He's walking that tree line on the other side. You see farther up the woods where there's a gap? Where you can see all the way through? You see what I'm saying? All the, where you can see all the way through the woods to the field? Get your rifle fixed on that. He's gonna cross through there. But only take the shot if you feel like it's a good You see him? Be looking at him through the scope if you can. Oh, there he goes. He just went through that opening. He might be gone. might come over and come out in these woods over here. You feel like you're in a comfortable position because he's far enough away where we can talk and do whatever. Yeah, how you doing? How's it going? This is, again, I'm Brian. This is my buddy, Daniel. How's it going, Daniel? I'm Chris. Okay, that pine right there, yep. that's by itself, it's right underneath uh, there's it. There's a trail going down the, down the hill here. If that trail, there's a little opening, a uh, hall road that goes between this set of woods and the big woods. Okay. It goes right through there when you start making that bend, you'll see, dude, it's huge. It'll, it'll take you equipment, it's everything. Nice. Yeah, you'll like it. Okay. I'll let y'all get back at it. Alright, well I really I really appreciate it. Yeah, thank you. We'll definitely we'll let you know for sure. If you're or dragging when I come through on Alright. <laughs> we might need it. We got probably too much stuff in our packs, but whatever whatever it takes. Once he's down, it's whatever he takes. Yep. Can't use it if you ain't got it. Yep. Alright. Good luck. No? I mean, nah, you don't need to. She just smelled us. You saw that? I mean, you could totally smoke it, but she's got... That's her, that's her daughter right there. Dude. She might be in she might be in heat. She had her her lips hanging down. She's looking back this way now. That's crazy dude coming right here, right here across the front. That could have easily been your first deer right there. Dude, a buck could be chasing her, dude. That was pretty cool, though. They just came running. They just came running across the middle of the field right here. That was pretty cool. It's a buck. 
your rifle ready, Ballard. Just get ready, I'll stop him for you. You make the decision. He's chasing a doe. That's a good deer, Ballard. I'd just go ahead and smoke him. You want me to stop him? You want me to stop him? Meh. Ready? Are you ready? That's a big deer. Meh. Mm -hmm. Meh. Smoke him. Meh. Meh. He's running now. Can you still shoot him? Why didn't you shoot him? I had him right there. I was just shaking. I didn't know how much I should be shaking to shoot. I told you a big deer was going to come after. Valerie, that was bigger than the deer I shot the other day. Did you see where he went? Alright, so we just had the craziest encounter with the buck. Right here. I've seen two good bucks today. Uh, we were just right up in those woods. That's where you can see out to all this. And that buck came running right through down here somewhere. From over there. Somewhere right down here was where we stopped him. But Ballard was having to slowly lean around some brush and just right when he got it on him the deer decided to start running again. So we gave it about 45 minutes after that encounter just to see if there was going to be more bucks running across there. But now we're headed to a place a guy we met out here suggested. He says it's a good afternoon place. See him? See him? Matt? Matt? <sighs> Literally just got done doing an interview walking across this field, saying we're moving spots. And all of a sudden there's a deer in the middle of the field right here with us. Right here with us. Still move. Feeling weird. We came over here to this other spot. Pretty good. Something came out here. Be a lot better shot. Probably closer in range. But there's that other blind way over there. That's the hillside there that the deer came down off of. And then they ran across that field there. We were up in that island of trees up there. sure there's some scrapes and stuff. We're headed back to our original spot. So we just got Ballard in a little better shooting stance back here behind this tree. And uh, we just had another chase scene go down out there in front of us. Smaller buck this time, but still pretty cool. And uh, I think we just made a real good move by doing that. Getting Ballard ready for a steadier shot because looks like there's a place where we could wind up taking a shot that would be around 300, maybe a little more than 300 yards. It's chasing it. Get 
your stick ready just in case he comes back up or something. Oh yeah, they're coming back up. The doe's running up the hill. This is awesome, man. All right, wait for him to come back up. How steady are you at that distance? She is gone. Where's he at? He'll probably go the same way as her. Come back up that hill. Yeah, here he comes. You see him? She's already going the other way, dude. She just lost she just lost him. I think it was a little buck. Dude, we will get you a deer sitting right here. You spotted him. Good spot. Uh, he's still down there somewhere. There he goes, there he goes. Let's see if he's big or not. No? Watch him go the same way she went. He disappeared. Oh, I see him. He went the wrong way. She evaded him. He is going right back to where we were. All right, so we've seen pretty good action in this field right here in front of us. We've seen good action on that field, just beyond that. And if you can see, there's like a knoll right in the middle. And we're probably going to go ride the last hour on. Because we can shoot back this way, or, we, or it'll be a closer shot to shoot over to the other side. So that's the plan here. In just about 15 minutes, we're going to go down there. Hopefully it works out.
just stay still and wait. There's probably a bug. One's looking, don't move. Whatever you do, don't move. I think that one in the back is a smart one. I don't know, you want to shoot that one? No, no, you can't because you'll be shooting at homeboy. If she comes down the hill, you can. States got. Let me know if you're going to shoot. Honestly, the deer action is hot. We're probably going to see a buck. Hey guys, thanks for watching. So that was our first day out on the public land up in Virginia. Um, it was pretty awesome. Daniel's first time really getting to do anything like that um, with deer hunting. And it was pretty much a deer clinic. Uh, we saw bucks chasing does. We saw just does. We saw small bucks. Um, the deer were just running around and it was such an awesome day. Um, but we get into our second day, which was a Sunday, and you can't hunt the public land on Sunday in Virginia. So we were hunting on private land, uh, a lot my dad has up there, and didn't really see anything all day long, um, which was kind of surprising. Not nearly as nice as the public land we were on, um, but still expected to see something. Um, just took in the sights, had some coffee, had some lunch, and tried to stick it out all day long um, just weren't successful so we're gonna hop right into the third day where Daniel and I go back out to the National Forest and this is our last and final day um, we've got to get Daniel his first year so enjoy the rest of the video what's tomorrow November 15th it's a date that deers are killed on Oh. November 15th. Gonna be your, fir your first deer. Don't forget it, boys. One more try tomorrow. Going back to the public land. Hey. Generator just went out. Got up. Waiting for this dude to get up. And I'm fixing to go. Out of the generator up with gas. It's cold. Dude, high pressure, nice weather's like pretty much legit set in. Stars are crispy. It's cold as crap. Different type of gold. Look at that face. Oh. You don't think we should stretch? Huh? Ballard the Trainer, physical trainer says that we're good. Yeah, Don't need to stretch. <laughs> we're gonna be cramping here in a little bit. That stuff's made up. Let's let's 
go. It's a real nice gun. It don't play as much as mine does. Follow that road. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. That's a deer standing right there. Just get down. That was good. We didn't spook him. Get ready, Ballard. We ain't gonna have a far back out today. Let me check him out and see what he's doing. He's just standing there. All right. You taking your pack off? Yeah. I'll take mine off too. saw its ears. It's going down to the pond. Yeah, it's going over the hill. Yeah, we can go up farther. Maybe get an even better shot. Look kind of awkward, but I feel 
was right. Yeah, that's a good, that's a decent deer. Oh, he's lunging. He might go to a spot where we can get him here in just a second. And now he's moving. You know where, oh, I see his horns. Just stuck up over the grass a little bit. sneak through and not see it. We wouldn't see him. Alright, let's just Hard, boy. <laughs> he hit me. He goes, hold on, let's just watch it. There might be a buck down there, right behind this hill, rock cliff. Buck comes rolling out, and we sit here and wait on him for like five minutes. Creep up on him. And he turns on us, perfect boy, and just blasted up. Got Ballard's first kill on camera, boys. Let's go. Let's go. CWC. Day boy. three, just grinding. <laughs> yes, just grinding. He just shot that buck right underneath that tree, right underneath that little tree right there. And I'm pretty positive he rolled him. I seen feet go up into the air. Look at that smile, boy. 
It's cold, but I'm warm, boy. <laughs> that was epic. That was exactly what I want, how I wanted it to go down. I like, all right. Perfect. That like, was perfect. We worked all weekend. Didn't, couldn't have we this worked, on the first day. Yeah. Third day. Third day. Come in on the. When just, you when you watch. Just a little. We were a little down today, but we were like we, our whole mindset was like, let's get it done. Yeah. November fifteenth, baby. Remember the, the day Valor shot his first deer. Remember the day. Just watched the footage and confirmed that Ballard straight laid him out. Laid him out. Hit him right in the sweet spot. Nice deer, boy. For your first, for sure. Now you gotta shoot one bigger than that. Ballard caping his first deer. Damn. What? No way. Look at that in there. Are you serious? I was like, what's the blade hit? What? <laughs> Dude, that's so cool, man. This is the most money hunt you could ever ask for. Two pieces. Just Ballard missed. just found his bullet. You a lucky yeah, some gum boy, I'll tell you what. <laughs> oh my god. That is so cool. Found the bullet. I don't know about that 6.5 Creedmoor though. It didn't go all the way through. That's another piece of it? Yeah. That's a tick. Uh -uh. Another piece of bullet? It's like the tip of it. You better keep that. the bullet inside the deer and he forgot it on the rock so therefore he's going back and I'm going to the truck Thank <laughs> you. 